Good morning. So today we're off to Skegness, where we've got the cheapest room and the cheapest week for a whole week. So we've paid just over 52, 52 pounds for the room. And that's a standard room, so we went for the cheapest room. In the past we've had silver room, we've had the chalets, but we want to just try the cheapest. You know, what, what do we get for the 52 pounds? And we put the meal plan on um, for the week, which is all you can eat breakfast and dinner, uh, the premium meal plan, which came to 200. So all in all, it comes to about two, 256 pounds, I think it comes to in total. And uh, we're going to take you along for the ride. Now we're going to do a full vlog series to show you Skegness, Ingle Mills and all of the attractions. But if you just want to see what you're going to get on for the budget Butlins deals, I'll leave a link in the description below for a timestamp of where you can see the room tour, the checking in and everything else. So, here we go. And um, we've made it. Made a wee. Finally made it to Skegness. Caitlin needs a pee. And we've got early check-in from one o'clock but uh, it's just after 12 now and we're not going to go straight into into Butlins. We're going to go into Skegness for a bit, find a place to pee for this one and uh, probably going to take a look at the Seal Sanctuary. We're parked in the cricket club by the way. Yeah, we're parked in the cricket club, day. five pound all day at the back of Skeg near the Tesco's and the railway station, best place to park. So we've made it all the way through Skegness town now, we've come down onto the front and we're going in search of Kaylee's favourite thing. Waffles. Waffles. Might just um, grab some as a snack as well because we'll be eating at Butlins later. So I might just go and grab something and then what do you want to do? Do you just want to do the Seal Sanctuary and uh, head up a couple of shops and head over to Butlins? Okay. So this is the best place by far to get waffles. Ice cream and slush bar on the front. Let's have a look at the menu. Yeah, no. It's coconut there. What are you going for, Kay? The Snickers one again. Yeah? Yeah. I'm not sure yet. Sticky toffee, Snickers. I might go for the Eaton mess. Yeah, I did. Starlings are here again. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for Eaton Mess. You'll go for the Snickers. Okay. Ah, yeah. Could we get one Snickers, please, and one Eaton Mess on the waffles? Yes, please. Oh, you've got Snickers. It's actually called a Snicky Menage. Snicky Menage. We need some mess. Wouldn't be skegged there if we didn't stop off at an arcade on the way, would it? Let's have a look at some of these prizes. Ooh, bowling. Kaylee, bowling. No? You don't want any bowling. Really, bottle of prime is now prime thing. Price. Might have to go on that. We can't get stitch. This is not the good one. I don't work. Ah, I hit my toe. 
Well, you're only putting a pound on it. Yes. I'm not you. I have self-control. Unless it's a giant stitch. Oh, what are you going for? Ghost spider. Ghost spider. Terrible. Terrible. Yes. <laughs> Go, you get five. Oh, 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 oh. And we've made it. Next land seal sanctuary. Technically, I can see the blue border. Shut up. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people heading in. Then again, it's feeding time right now. Uh, I'm sure it's like 12 and 3 or 11 and 3. 12 and 3 or 11 and 3. Oh, we need the money. Use the government stock and don't give them any. Yeah. It's all um volunteer work, isn't it? Charity, so. Yeah, the only money they get is the money that they make from this. They get no government funding, funding. or anything. They obviously yep. they capture and Let's have a look. Crocodiles, snakes, scorpions, tarantulas, creepy crawlies, meerkats. Everyone's got meerkats. Don't be trying these ones at home. Mm. <laughs> Funny. Yeah. Yeah, they get no government funded or anything, so everything that they make goes to helping the seals. Okay. Yeah, three. Oh, three. three. Baby yeah. seals are two. What time's it now? Ten past one. So we've not got that one there. Thank you very much. And that's a guy. Oh, lovely. Thanks very much. Thank Cheers. You. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, just a bit. There we go, had to get the camera out. And there's Kaylee, along with the baby seals. Mm -hmm. 
but we've got a couple this time. He is gigantic. He's sleeping. Looks like they're, empty, they're emptying the big one just to uh, clean, it. clean it. Hello. Me? Yeah. This one's just sunbathing. Quite happily asleep in the sun. Yeah, yeah. They're refilling it with fresh water up there. the reptile house. Hey, um, 
What we got in here? Oh. There he is. Hello. He never does his Jurassic Park thing. No. Mm. Yes. No. Oh. Oh. Drippy coming out of there. I've got a leopard gecko in here though. Not that I can see him. Oh, I think he's gonna be quite nice. Yeah. No, not yet. You can see the seals. And the random duck over there. Yeah, I think I know one I'd say one of them get birth, so I wonder if. Yes, yeah, so I've got six, I suppose. Hello, baby. It's only Scott. I know animals don't like Scott. Noise. Do it again. <laughs> Even if I lost a finger, it'd be worth it. I just want to boot it on the nose. <laughs> says to me that the uh, shutter's too loud on this but you always get the reaction from the animals when you, when you pull it. It makes change because animals always run away from you. So. Okay, a carp, oh, carp pull. Oh, ducks. I just said she was ducks. Oh, not listen. No. Big fish. Big fish. Big fish. We're going over to the hospital a bit now. The penguins back out yet? Yeah, because I know they went away, didn't they? Because no, no, they, bird were, flew. they were stood on top of there not longer. Yeah. Last time we came in February, yeah. it was bird flu around, weren't they? So they had to move them in. That's the hospital area. We'll go in there in a minute then. Just got to see the penguins first. Oh, they've moved back into the hut lot. Yeah. See them. Just there. Again, yeah, looks like this is being refilled. Yeah, I was going to say, it's in the season, isn't it? Refilling and cleaning all the tanks. Oh, there's Henry, looking less shaggy than usual. Oh, hello. So this is part of the, uh, the ones that they... Yeah, this is the ones that they find uh, that need help. And uh, nurse about health. She's got her information up there. Get it. Rescued harbour seal, tag one six two. No, he wants to go in, look. Hey. She. Well, that's where they keep fish. Mm. Yeah, I'm looking at the hospital. <laughs> Still looks a little busy. Let's go and see Henry and the goats. <laughs> ah, there's Henry. Warm, yeah, he's in there. Very mischievous goat, Henry. I've seen him grab kids. <laughs> mischievous, he's just hungry all the time. Yes, he likes to eat children. Oh, there he comes. No. Yeah. He's a little Henry. Hello, come be my friend. Nope. I won't steal you, I promise. That's a lie. But you might. 
given the chance, I definitely will. Rude. Hey, he's gone over there. I'm not going to see you. You ain't got food, though, have you? He doesn't know that. I'm going to shop and get some food. He's through the back. You're watching Henry. There he is. Yeah. Hello, big boy. Here's Henry. Come have a scratch. Still that set bloody some pictures. Paper. <laughs> You greedy boy. I'm going to itch. Bag, paper bag it was. <laughs> Bless it. It's warm and itchy. Hello little Henry. <laughs> You wanna come home with me? Oh, you're coming around here? Are you staying with the goats? Staying with the goats. Yeah, so I'm going for the alpacas. <laughs> Don't quite know what that was about. It's quite funny though, he just they were both a bit scared of the uh, the alpacas. So he just decided to uh, pick his mate up and try and chuck him in. Mm, just warming it. Something irritating him. He's got an itch. Going an itch. And there's a fly flying around him. Bless him. Say him. They're all him. Hello, bud. Hello. I'm not getting too close. Why? Because they spit. Yeah, they seem friendly enough there. I don't know, he kind of looks a bit pissed. Yeah, he looks a bit like Jimmy then. Hot, bugger up. Mm. Hello? You don't spit at me or bite me. I think, he's, I think he's just come to say hello. I've got no food, sorry. But you might have. I know, I don't have any. You can get some from the shop. Sorry, bud. Mm. <laughs> get ready, will you? Come on then, let's go round this way before we get spat at. Bye, buddy. Don't stamp at me, sorry. Yeah, you don't have food. 
Hmm. I don't know. Let's find out. Just get kissing. Look at all of them. Look at them. They're gone now. I don't think they're in a cage. They're from there for one minute. Yeah, they're there. Kissing. Goes to the gift shop last. Little goat's called Hetty. Little goat's called Hetty. Okay. She's very sweet. What are you looking for? Just browsing. Mm. You're not having a grabby stick. No. <laughs> no. No. Okay. Yes. I don't mind spending money in here because all the profits go to seals. Do with them for when they're going to um, what's it called then? Licks your wildlife pot in the Avery bit. What does it Poncho. Do? Poncho. <laughs> yeah. That's a nice picture there, look. Yeah, it's one on the Facebook page, isn't it? That's a nice one as well. Tribbles. Not tribbles, mm -hmm. guinea pigs. I'm gonna get one for Alice for Christmas. I'll be looking everywhere for a guinea pig. Teddy, but I don't know which one to get. Ten pound ninety nine each. Well it all goes to the seals, so. Yeah. Which one? Mm. The that one. The black and brown one. Yeah. Going to the seal hospital bit. Mm -hmm. So this bit through here is the actual animal hospital where they uh, treat the rescue teals from along the coastline. Or pups anyway. Or pups anyway, yeah. And they come in and have a look as they're on the mend, bless them. What's this one? Male, four to five weeks, 11.8 kilo. Hello, here you go, you're a little fun. Given antibiotics, wound cleaned, but I was wounded. Oh, this one's got its own little bath. You know. It's not to one week, it's only a baby. It's a brutal point. Yeah. I can't see your face, mate. Turn this off now for a bit and uh, do some photography. Last little bit of water left. Still don't move, look. Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to the Seconds Lake Lounge. My name is Emily, and I'm one of the seal keepers here. And I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about our rescuing and rehabilitating seals and giving them some dinner. Just a friendly reminder before I get started these guys are cute and cuddly. They look that way, but they're not. They are wild animals and they do fight. So please come straight out of the enclosure with arms and legs at all times. Please don't ever lean in. If you happen to drop anything, please leave it where it is, and I will keep it. So where we are in Skeg, we are very well populated with seals. We've got the largest colony. 
from them. Please refrain from going over to them and trying to touch them or interact. The main reason that mothers abandon their babies early is because of human disturbances just like this. So please don't do it because it might become your fault that they do need further help. Never try and put a seal back in the ocean. If you find a seal on the shore like this one over here, nice and fluffy and having a snooze, don't panic. This is a perfectly natural seal behaviour. The seals do not need the water to survive, so please don't try and put them back in the sea. You will disturb their rest. Finally, you need to remember again, they are a wild animal, even though they look cute, and they will give a nasty bite, especially if you're trying to poke a problem. They do carry lots of diseases as wild animals.
the nature land seal sanctuary go there and spend lots of money they need it <laughs> so we're going to um go and take a walk back down through the town kaylee wants to pick up some trainers some boots. and i want some shorts and go back to the car mm -hmm. and then we're gonna head off and uh head off, to, head off to butlins Check into Butlins now. <laughs> Just coming past the fairground. The new fairground. The new fairground. Because. Hiya. Hi. Surname on the book. Trainer. 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 Yeah. G5, 9 QB. Lovely, so the guests welcome back, so get into your room straight away. In the pack you've got your room keys and wristbands. You're going to break water grow. Right. So do you know where you're going for that one? Uh, Out of here, uh, left, left of it there. All the way around. Big along here, just yeah. after the um, new sky park. Oh that's lovely. Thank you very much. Have a lovely time. Thank you. Bye -bye. Cheers, bye. There we go, that was a check-in nice and easy. Name and postcode. And away we go. Let's go find our room. Water Grove. Breakwater Grove we want. Mm -hmm. Does it tell us where Breakwater Grove is? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so we're at Delta. Then it's this one. Then this next one. The next one will be us. Number one. So we're right at the front. Uh, I mean, we're going to get everybody. Not the noise. And not only that, it's um, it's actually closer to the pavilions than the silver rooms. And I think these have been recently refurbished. They look cleaner than the silver rooms, don't they? On the outside. 
It's definitely much quieter down here. And there's nobody above us, which is great. Yeah. Last time it was really nobody annoying. above us. Yeah. And the walls and the silver ones are quite thin, aren't they? You can hear everything yeah, from all the other people. Playing, I don't know, some game last time in the room next to us, and they're up till like one, two in the morning, yeah. screaming and shouting, and playing this crappy music. Right, so we're going down to number one. We normally stay in the, the silver rooms, but then we've read a review. It's not. Yeah, it's not working. <laughs> but we've read a review that these are uh, just as good, really. I'm happy to see if you're fine. Good. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> straight away for you. Yeah, it's that way. So always make sure your skegness is outside. Ah, uh, I've got and it upside it's down. Straight in and out. That's lovely. Right, Thanks Colin. very much. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, and there we go. Right, quick room tour. So we're coming through the hallway, through the door to the hallway. What have I got in here? Oh, iron and board and iron. You didn't install that iron, Kaylee? Yeah, because I'm not going to do it. Some shelving units in there, plug. Oh, yeah, these have all been refurbished recently. So we've got the shower cubicle, toilet, fan heater, sink with a mirror. Get all these. Kettle. <laughs> <laughs> I think Katie wants a coffee. The coffee's in the car. I know. Coming through into the main room. Just with the TV, tiny little TV, a chair and the bedside table. Some wall art. I only have one socket. Two bedside cabinets. This is one down there. Nice size double bed actually. Yeah, only the one socket there. Yeah, these are the old ones, so they don't have any many electricals, did they? We'll have to just pick up a uh, a multi tab type thing. And a wardrobe. So not quite as big as the silver rooms. They are a bit bigger. Um and you get two bedrooms in there, so four people. But all in all, it's clean, fresh. And this is our home for the next four days. Right, we are going to freshen up, have a coffee, go and get the luggage out of the car. I think coffee's on the uh, on the agenda first though, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, view from outside, we've got a little walkway just down there. Look. And uh, bring you back shortly. So you get these travel packs when you come, it's got details of our stay and dining, our room keys which also double up for our meal plan, got these wristbands, a few bits of information including the new caravan village and the new lodges that they're building. Okay so we've freshened up a bit, we've had a good look around the room. And there's a few pros and a few cons to go for and a couple of pro tips. So, start with the cons. There are no plug sockets. We've got one plug socket for the TV, which is plugged in, one plug socket for the kettle, and a socket in a cupboard over there. Which means if you've got multiple devices charged, like phones, laptops, tablets, cameras, you're going to need to bring a multi-extension multi or something along those lines uh, with you. couple of pros bathroom is newly refurbished so it's really quite nice you know they, I think they're the last latest thing to be refurbished on the site one of the bathrooms which uh, is a really good pro uh, we've got no through traffic because outside out the window all we've got is a wall we're right on the end couple of pro tips for you so there's no housekeeping 
and you don't get towels, so bring towels. With no housekeeping, and they stopped this during COVID for most of the rooms, the small selection of tea and coffee you get doesn't doesn't last long. So we bring some washing up liquor in the sponge to, to wash the rugs. And teas. And teas. And we buy these. This is an Nescafe three in ones. Uh, we could, this is a creamy one, and we've got a normal one. Packs of sixteen for about two quid from the pound shop or B and M, and they're great just for coffee in the morning. It's yeah, it's no cost of coffee, but it does the job. Anyway, we are just about ready. We're going to head off out for dinner in a minute, and uh, take you to the deck, have a look at the menu options, and then probably catch a show later on. So we've just come through the pavilion and over to the deck. We'll get inside and I'll bring you back. So as you can see, we're back at the room. We made it into the restaurant, but to be honest, we turned up at, well, peak time, and it was heaving. It's a, it's a buffet style restaurant, and you could barely move at that time uh, to, to get around all the cooking stations and everything else. So I wasn't really able to, uh, to walk around filming in there it was just just too busy so we're uh we'll make another attempt at that tomorrow we'll either go early or later on uh, so we're booked to see a show tonight it's a uh rock, rock festival. festival tribute band which does songs from bon jovi and other rock and other artists uh for an hour so that sounds a bit interesting and before then we'll have a quick wander around the arcades so we'll leave you there for today thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe for more and uh, we'll see you in the morning.